Hey, vegans. Like me. I've shown a news flash for you. Are you know what being counterproductive? Playing the political dipshit. Saying that only pacifism is allowed in veganism. Veganism is not only about pacifism. Veganism and animal rights is not uh, is not about uh, putting humans on a pedestal of uh, superiority. Animal rights and veganism is about animals and the environment and the victims of the might make right mentality of the first world. It is not about shaming people that not worship on the altar of humanity. Veganism and animal rights is not necessary about human issues. Understand? So stop blaming people that uh, do not 100% agree with your non-violence matters. And support anybody who is willing to fight for the rights of animals. Just like Martin Luther King have decided in this time with civil rights movement. When he was asked to uh, stop Malcolm X radicalism, to help uh, Malcolm X to stop uh, spreading his radicalism, he replied, Malcolm X will stop being radical when people stop to be racist. If pacifists in this movement be capable of rational thinking, they will understand that the more radical people in the vegan movement would mean actually a few. So stop when species speciesism ends. Understand? Sadly and truthfully, pacifism will not stop any violence. And for anybody that is disagree with that, I challenge you to read the essays of adapt.org titled uh, More Prob Problems with Pacifism and Violence Education and Place for Anything of Gary Rofsky before you, you uh, want to uh, challenge me on that. And also maybe watch some of my videos where I explain why the ALF are not terrorists. But in reality, they're animal exploiters. They're scientific frauds that call themselves the vivisection doctors. When there are no, that's around something like 80% of all the uh, scientific, pseudo scientific shit that they produce can be put in the trash and then, can, then we can uh, use that money and uh, yeah actually then if they have tested on the animals then they tested on people in poor countries because it is not safe and they have actually also tested on, uh, on humans to be safe and that's something that I know vivisection is a scientific fraud where's my video about that topic then in that video I go more in deep in that don't want to do that in this one. We have to support anybody. No matter if you not been 100% agree with their standpoint. But if they support animal rights. Then we have to support them. At least in the art of animal rights. I will fight with anybody. When it comes to freeing animals. Anybody that uh, wants to uh, 
help me out to uh, do something to help animals get their freedom. Contact me on my Facebook for more of that. And I don't care about uh, what you think further. Because I know that even the so-called uh, vegan racist, if, even if there is something as a true vegan racist, I have nothing to come in contact with them. <laughs> um, because uh, also of the definition of veganism. A ve veganism acknowledges the intrinsic legitimacy of all life. There's no counter argument to kill. There's no argument to um, not spare the lives of uh, pr creatures with a primitive nervous system and those with a highly evolved nervous system. The secret of life to its possessor is the same, no matter if it be a child, brain fish, or um, pig, or one other animal. Understand? I want you to think about this. The biggest struggle with the movement is that anybody is too political. Here's the true definition of political. Political means power struggle. They have nothing to do with morality. Political have nothing to do with ethics. It have everything to do with law, with power and corruption. So I not think play politician. And I say you, you also don't have to play a politician. Be yourself. Speak for the animals in the same way that you want to be spoken for if you are in their position. Understand? I hope you. I hope that you go vegan. If you are not vegan. If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easily to make you victim to make the entire Christian make them. But when you are not a victim, or when you are the victim, it looks a lot different from the angle. I be for true, no matter how say it. I be for justice, no matter how or for who against. I mean also against the status quo. Because the status quo is created by slave masters, sadists, and a lot of other despicable evil bastards. Look in your country, look to the laws, look to which kind of uh, psychopaths and be ridden. They'll feel offended by that. Please. Don't be a patriarch. Patriarchy, when it um, puts himself in schools, is a dirty fellow that deserves to be put out. We have to learn that we are all being earthlings. We have to learn that we don't live in a magical fantasy land. We have to learn to live in harmony with the three laws of nature. First, that all animals are interdependent on each other. That without some will not survive. Second, that there is a limited to grow because there is a limit of uh, materials. Last but not least, I show you. Oh wait, go figure. What's your excuse for casting the least amount of harm possible on this planet, man? Stop, stop being a lazy motherfucking cunt, man. You have to remember that we are not politicians as a vegan movement. We are activists, not politicians. Activists are the only ones in the whole world 
that have ever made social change for the victims. So don't, other than uh, study, pol uh, not politicians, but activists in Surrey, like Malcolm X, like uh, Cesar Chavez, like uh, Rosa Parks, and understand that civil disciplines always been uh, used and is unjustifiable action awakening and become an activist. Be not afraid to speak out what we write. If it may not be safe or popular or political correct, but listen to your conscience. If you say your conscience, say that it's been right. And not your ego. You have to listen to your conscience. Awake. These are for always to trump violence. So even if it's been violent traditions, belief and habits. And so much people be so deluded by believing that if they're being peaceful, uh, others become peaceful themselves. No, that's not the reality. You're, we have to still have this message. And we have to put it always in our in the face of anybody. We have always put this in, the, or in their face. Violence have always to come in compromise with the passive position. That means meat eaters have to give things up if they want the respect of vegans. And not that vegans have put their morals under the ground. How can anybody claim that animals are not being mistreated when they're being lived, put in the slaughterhouses and put in parches when they come out?